Vertigo. Bit of a miscue to home ground, so I can expect to see him here in this series. Let's jump right on in. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Mr. Jason Lake one time, who is inevitably, or undutably, I should say, watching onward. Maybe from our fan cams, maybe not. But you can watch from the fan cams. IM.GG slash fan cam for this semifinal. Complexity taking on Vitality. We're starting out on Vertigo. And we're going to see what these Complexity boys have to offer on their CT side. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Let's get into it, right? So... Early on, you got the guys from Cole with this CT side start. Now, that's nice, right? Everyone loves the CT start. They're grouped up over here towards A. They've got a, a nice little setup to deal with Vitality's incoming crunch. But these two smokes, they can be used to cut the site in two. Those double nades onto the sandbags. That's really going to give some info over to Cole. This is looking like the A play already. Smoke's going to go in, and that there will cut off these players playing towards the back of the site. And for Poison, it leaves him in a bit of a weird spot. Either he has to push ahead of the smokes where he's fighting alone, or go back through them, and he chooses the Ooh. former. Blame will come in with a response, and that's Zai Wu out of the round. Masuta uh, trying to retreat, oh. but Config's charging them down. Masuta doubles up. And he's kept this even for Vitality. They're fighting their way back in. They're looking for gunfights. Oh. And Masuta, another. That's dead. Yes, for him. <laughs> There's no more to kill, JK. Just calm down, buddy. Yo. <laughs> Complexity pick up a pistol. They do it with a defuse with Vitality getting a plant. They're going to have a little bit of money. And that could go a long way. Yeah, I mean, JKS probably thinking there's more because Vitality flashing back in for fights. You know, you don't often see that, but USPs v Glocks, Vitality want to use that close range. They want to get in the face of Cole. And well, they'll get their faces torn off. Cole picking up the pistol on a retake in the A side. That was a big kill for Blame to get back on the Zywu and Sandbags. He's the position, he's in the position there to win the round as well, right? Playing passive, playing that bomb. And especially after poison drops first, that could have been a catastrophe for complexity. But right back in with a pistol round locked under. And now the question is, do vitality force? We see that very commonly, especially after bomb plants, AK's dropped over. Maybe Mac 10's fast into middle, some Galil's. Or they could just play the Deeks. We know they love that as well, right? We have so many strong Deagle players on this uh, T side. And uh, and wait it out and wait for those third round AKs. Right now, now we, we're waiting for a reconnection. Yeah, a little bit of a reconnect here for Poison, which shouldn't take too long, all things considered. We are right back into it. Freeze time is ticking down. The pistol for complexity is a step in the right direction. And again, pay attention to some of the... The things that Complexity are able to capitalize on, some of the reads that they usually get out of the teams they play are on the back of some of the research that both Keita and Blame F do. And I would like to also think that the rest of the team is helping along as well. Got that big old bite, made into middle. Blood comes out of Apex, but no damage. He's holding Scout on the Jennies. Poison with a deep nade on A, but Vitality respecting the smokes, even in the pistol, they walked up silently, right? That info is so easy to hear as a CT on this map. The vertical levels, better than Nuke, right, to a degree. Like, you can plant on Nuke and people go, I don't know what site that is. Pros even still struggle. But yeah, this one's a lot easier, and that's why Vitality are walking, taking their time, not giving the info, but Poison's spotting with the scout, and he sees them come out. Blame, peeking on the short side. Cole defaulting to 3A in both of these rounds, and for a good reason, with A just really being the uh, the site of choosing for most T sides. This buy is lacking utility, but it has the firepower. Can Vitality show off on the A site? And for us, I don't feel like we've seen too much Vertigo action recently. No. Which is, you know, quite the change of pace. Welcome to that config at the sandbags, and Vitality start to make a move up here on the scaffold. Yeah, Config might have a very important role to play in this round with no Molotov or nades to clear him out of the sandbags. He kind of has free reign here. And even though it's likely going to get checked by Vitality, having to physically check the sandbags is a lot harder than just throwing that Molotov and getting delivered a free kill. So Config, he might have a lot to do here. Oh. Shox is going to open the round up and now Config's feeling that pressure. Wow. Zai Wu <laughs> just takes his head off right away. And so he never even gets to put that sandbags position to good use. There's five alive for Vitality. And just Rush and JKS remain for Cole. JKS ain't even rotated off B, so this is already feeling like a save for the complexity side. And with good reason, right? They're not getting back into this round, no matter how hard they try. Every one of those kills coming in like a second apart into the A site. And that's Vitality's force immediately responding back 
too complexity. Who needs grenades when you got the check like that, right? Just Saiwoo swinging in and deleting config on the sandbags. That's a position where you would really love a flash as, uh, as a CT, someone from the site chucking it in so config can swing on it and, uh, and catch blinded players. But there was no flash to be found on Cole in that round. So will be Vitality already getting into the mix and finding their first. Five alive as well. Big money for the Frenchman. Bounce back. That's got to hurt. Now, with all these USPs just kind of looking around like, hey, guys, what, what are we going to do here? A uh, little bit of an investment. We do have a scout on poison. One from Moss in the round. Double digs, MP9. Deep A smoke, but Shox throws one just that little bit further ahead as well. I can get a player up short on a spawn if Cole don't spot it, but they have blame on that position. And Vitality are already running the gauntlet up towards A. That's been grabbed. Nice little flash into short there from the site from Rush, and Blame sees that no one's up in top, and so Vitality are pressuring elsewhere. Still two players walking up, eh? But also mid-control The Poison has to deal with on this scout. So Levine JKS sees nothing, and Poison swings as the shot comes through. Shock's even finding config yet again, and Vitality, another 5-on-3 coming in early. Aggression from Rush is the port of call, but Zaiwu and Shock's deal with it, and it's just digging the grave now for complexity one by one. Vitality pick up these opening kills, and now they can just once again walk into A, where Cole, a save might be in their mind. And with plenty of time to do it, they can clear everything methodically. They can make sure that they're not about to get backstabbed. There's no one at the sandbags. It's funny how much util they have, and they're just not using any of it as well, right? Just relying on their aim, walking right in, looking for gunfights. And they've got so much room. Oh, wow. PK gets the info that Blame's waiting around, but Apex is already very, very deep. Blame F is not ready for that. So he takes one to the back of the dome, and JKS is just left to save again. That is uh, the real kind of story of a B player on yep. this map at times, right? JKS in both these rounds now has just had to survive. And it's never that fun. It's just going to be an eco coming up for Cole. So Vitality, you know, winning out these force by wars leaves them in a really good spot. That it does. A first full buy that we're going to get to see for complexity. It's not going to feel great, right? Like, you know, you, you've made your 1900 here and going to be locking in the 24 next time around, but that still leaves you a little limited in terms of utility. And we know how important that can be on Vertigo. Kits as well, something yeah. that you're going to maybe get worried about, right? You're going to have to choose, like, do you want the util or do you want the kits? And with how often these have come down to retakes, you at least kind of want one of them flying around. So maybe JKS can hold on to his. Yeah, Orb's certainly going to be important on CT side as well, right? Especially with Zaiwu on the other side. A player that, you know, honestly, Zaiwu, obviously we, we know he loves the Orb, doesn't really need it at times. You could definitely run a T side on this map without the AWP. And even yesterday we were seeing uh, up against Mad Lions, Masuta would sometimes take that Orb over him as well. So yeah, it's, not a, it's not a worry yet. Especially not with the money for Cole, but they're going to crunch A, peek together. Nice double dink onto Zaiwu caught in the open, but... Can't really push down with shocks waiting and holding on to this weapon. Vitality have taken so much room again. Now they're up mid to B. Waiting for the swing is Apex. He gets some damage off. They could be good as well. Armorless players getting crunched. Masuta, lots more damage, but this is falling apart at the seams. Config oh, with no. another in. JKS's one save gun has found Apex. It's one HP for shocks. Trying to get the A site under lock, but Cole are running fast. This, is, this wasn't in the script. This wasn't how it was meant to happen. Shocks and RPK, they've got 101 HP between them, and that's being a little, little disingenuous to Shocks. He finds himself at one, still on the AK, leaving RPK with the Famous, spreading out, looking for a way to get this round back under control, but it, it feels like it might be a little too far past the point, right? Config over towards this B site on the map. 
does have poison floating around middle for a quick rotation. And looks like JKS is even pushing his way down through A ramp. That's huge for Cole. As they now begin these rotates over towards B nice and early, they're going to have almost everyone in the right place at the right time to make something of this full oh. eco round. RPK tagged as well. So oh. low on both these players and they're gone. Complexity win it with one Famous on JKS and USPs for the rest of the gang. So those worries about, you know, oh man, well, the weaponry is going to be bad. They got to make choices between utility and kits. That worry's gone, as now the money's great for complexity. What a round to pick up. Shout out Poison as well, just baiting for Config there on the B site, taking his death and letting Config trade with the one rifle picked up. So 2-2, two, two, and we're straight in to another buy round, or at least our first full buy on both sides. Nice spray for JKS, two towards the Rabbi's got another, shutting down the B play early for Vitality. No flashbangs blinding anyone. JKS still holding this position as well. Dangerous to hang around. He's got a full belt of util. May as well get usage out of that before the fights come in. But Vitality are contacting right as he's fallen off. Will he be ready for the pace? There it is. The spot Big and name. the grenade. Can combo with the spray and Masuta's dead as well. JKS on for the ace in the first gun round, but Shox will deny it. That being said, a one on three. Not easy for Shoxy. No, it's not. Flexity start to hammer down. And then there's config. Life of a B player. Usually, like, you, you get so used to those A plays and saving, the one time you do get a hard B play like that, you, it can be it can be hard to get away with multi-kills. But JKS showing up like we wanted. And Vitality, they've just got tons of money. This will be the last buy if they can't pick this one up. Bomb part required, but they go back to B with a vengeance. Trading, not effectively. It's JKS just getting fed right now. Oh, boy. You like that. Another 3K from him. Poison's on the AWP, it's not even needed right now, but Vitality walking back with their eyes on A, Shock still in middle, and they actually go back. Masuta, lower B, knowing JKS is tagged. Vitality just, again, is playing this 2 on 4 like they played the last 2 on 4 on Anti-Eco. But Cole had that A, a info, they know it's not an A site take with the AWP looking down, and everyone else can assist on mid and B. We're on 2. Numbers not in favor of Vitality. Poison has a clear line of sight and backup over here towards the A ramp. Mizuda and Shox start to work their way in towards this B ramp. They don't have that molly that they've been throwing to clear out JKS, so he's a problem. They've just got to they just got to clear manually. It's kind of like that round where we had config at sandbags. Over towards Ooh. ramp, Masuta boosted up. The config's concealed for now. Oh, okay. that's quick. <laughs> there is still a second man, and that's right. config to get it all back under control. Leaving this on shocks, and he never even sees him. Config with the dink has brought shocks down very, very low, and he's just hiding. He's not giving this fight over. And there's oh. the swing from Config. Man, this is exciting, right? Like with JKS having a great start to this game, Config looking good as well. It gets me uh, pretty excited for complexity, man. Like it's cool to have JKS showing up early on in such a big way. In a lot of these games for complexity, like he's put up good numbers, but not like, not like ones where you're like, wow, all right, man, like this is wild. And right now, this is wild. 10 and 2, he's been holding B valiantly every single time. Four in the round before last, three in that previous round. Yeah, if Vitality's game plan was to pressure B and to, to abuse the new player on that bomb site, well, that's kind of thrown into the water now. They might have to start defaulting on A, which we can see Cole have full control of every round. Three players on the ramp, the deep smokes commonly, the AWP there as well. It's not an easy site to take. Despite it being the more popular, JKS deeped out. The boost does work wonders once again for Vitality. Poison's caught in middle. And uh, now that's a free gun given over. Can Config stop it? He's coming with a spray. Rush helping out. RPK in B, but no bomb to be found. And Complexity in a three on one should have this one easily. The dink to one HP on Rush, by the way. But it's still a locked in round for the major winner. Three kills and call up to five.
I love the way they deal with that mid play, right? Like on the side of Cole, they lose poison. He's kind of caught out in the open, like trying to reposition back into the elevator room after missing that first shot. And instead of respecting anything about that mid play, Config and Rush just charge into mid, right? They want to deny that AWP pickup. Because suddenly, like with an AWP in Masuta's hands and him kind of being lost in CT, trying to deal with that gets very, very scary very, very quickly. And so they waste no time. They gun them down in mid. And now we've got this reinvestment back on the cards for Vitality. Zaiwu finally donning the AWP in his glass cannon, though. So a little fragile in this round as he's waiting down at the bottom of ramp. What is this? Is it an A default execute smoke? Are they are they feigning that out from far away? Apex chucking it in. And yeah. Ooh, That's nice. Elevator. Oh dear. That is did that even land correctly? Like that's very deep in elevator. Um, it does seem like it's a little off. It's not really covering a whole lot. It's not going to get you into A, at least, with Cole on three players on the site. Shocks does have the entry up on the short side, but Poison getting his first kill of the map in middle, trying to chase down that low HP player. Apex darts away. JKS at the back of B, and that's where RPK is looking to take. The bomb is coming to join him, but Poison very alert on that rotation, very aware, coming through quickly with Rush taking over middle. A is quiet and config with the info towards short calls for no support, and now Vitality again trying to crunch B. Oof, nice shot from Zywu. Poison now needs to do something huge, and that's not even going to be given an opportunity. Zywu with a second in the B bomb site. He's been cracked wide open. That's how he does it all. He'll get you the entries, he'll plant the bomb, and then he'll even look to close the round out. He was glass cannon here with these two openers and hasn't even taken a point of damage yet. This is likely just the save for Cole. As once again, you know, those two kills come in. If anything goes untraded here for complexity, it often does just fall back into these saves. And this round is no different. So Vitality keeping this competitive out of the gate. They're even trying to hunt down some of these saving players. Now, their money ain't great either, so they don't want to throw too much away here. But they're at least holding on to this CT fallback. There's always a chance that maybe Rush goes running that way, but he's just going to hold his position in mid, gets out of it with the AK. Config's going to drop an AWP over to Poison. But it's up in the hands of Zai Wu. Mm, terrifying. Already delivering, isn't it? Yeah, swinging on the B side to fight ramp right. So tempting with that headshot angle, but it's exactly what Zai Wu wanted. Just waiting wide as his teammates made the noise. JKS baited in. Poison rebuying on the AWP. Rush throws the A smoke to allow three players to take their spawns and walk up silently. Vitality really haven't put on any A pressure other than their opening couple of rounds. So will this be the change as they post up silently once again, waiting? RPK default B. Suta coming to join the gang as well. And now this triple A setup that Cole have been running almost every single round. We're finally going to see it work. Yeah, that's the plan, at least. Blame F playing up close. Poison about to get Molotov to hell and back. He uses a smoke on top of it. Buys himself some more time. Oh. Nice sneak. Oh. is in and a lot of spray wow. damage. Blame F finding one through the wall. Apex is out. And that's put a disarray here for Vitality. Double nades and then the spray? That's brutal. Config isn't here. He's the only player with a smoke. Can he drop that for Poison? There it is. Coming through, but he swings and so catches the shot as Poison tries to go for info. Config now on the boost, having to run away. He won't escape. Mizuta pounces, blame on short. They know he's here and RPK does deal with him well. It's a four on two and Vitality with the sight again, looking like a dangerous round for Cole where a save might even be considered. The nade is good, but Zywu with full health goes for the plant. And, and typically like that's a, an idea that you, that you don't subscribe to on most maps. You want the low player to plant so the full HP player can cover you and get away with a win on a gunfight if someone swings. But in this map, definitely good to have the full health players planting, right? Those nades, those molotovs on both bomb sides are gonna be so frequently thrown by the CTs. And so Zywu gets away with murder and Vitality are looking for more as they push to counter out the save. Big steps for Vitality here. First, they crack open the B site. Then they do it over on A. Zywu hitting an important shot there onto Poison. Ooh. 
can leave that A site very vulnerable. Shocks takes out Rush before the round ends, and we look at Vitality on four. If Rush has gotten away with the save there, you, you could have invested here if your complexity, he could have dropped an M4 over. Config and Poison would have had enough money to buy, and so everyone would have had weaponry. Losing that that one player, that one hunt from Shocks, actually does make a tremendous amount of difference here for complexity. They could still buy, but three rifles, that's not exactly going to inspire too much confidence. And so now they're faced with a kind of grim choice. I think it's more likely that we see a partial buy. Definitely be the safer call. Especially with what we're seeing from Cole, right? Lots of util coming in. The double nade onto ramp with the spray from Blame. That's a great combo from Cole. But it won't happen if they fall by. So yeah, just one nade, one smoke, some pistols, bit of Kevlar on config. And we've seen them win this round before with a hero rifle and a bunch of default pistols. So can never count Cole out of a round like this, but really Vitality, they've been playing nice slow default to Cole. Want to get aggressive, you know Vitality are waiting for it. Zaiwu so holding the ramp as his teammates throw grenades does dunk poison on short. Still Cole aren't wavered. They're going to run on in. Zywu with a missed shot. Shots is trapped at the corner, but he kills the one rifle. They can try and grab it now. Everyone's fighting for it. Shocks with another. He's just cleaning up this anti-eco, and the gun is so wide as well. No one can grab it. Lane playing as weird and off angle as he can, but Shocks is on for the ace. He's not slowing down now, is he? Config. Coming from that heaven side in the ace site, Shocks still poised for an ace. Bomb's going to be planted at B in the meantime. Oh, dear. Config starts trying to rotate in. Shocks can stab him in the back. Config. Oh, you, all, you know, we all want the Shocks the ace, right? Let's be real here. You may as well, right? You got four out of five. Config ate 1v5 in this, so... Go on, Shocks. Oh. oh, he's playing safe. Look at him. That gives the gun away. If Config can go grab it, he has armor as well. There's still that M4 here, so... RPK's got one, though, so have they thrown the AK out and uh, and gotten rid of that weapon? Possibly. No, Config's grabbed one. Shocks, can he find the ace? Saiwu might steal it away. But Config escaping. Only for a brief moment in time. Great <laughs> shot to Masuta. Here comes Shocks with what should be oh. the ace for Vitality, and there it is. Clean as you like. All part of the plan for Shocks to get an ace. He's on 11 and 5 as we go into the 11th round. It's just a bloodbath every single time we see action over on the A ramp. A little bit of an aim map experience, minus nades. Here come the nades. Here comes the full buy for Cole with the AWP as well. So, oh, shocks with the pig. Oh. Took the spawn with the AWP and JKS gone again early. Yeah, but now they might not know about Rush. Like, admittedly, they've conceded the uh, the B stairs for a moment here, right? So this is something that you might expect. And that Molly oh. forces Rush out of the position. That's really nice utility work from Vitality, right? They, they play the spawns around that AWP to open the round up, then the Molotov to follow up with a second. And now B is ripe for the taking. Complexity, I think already you're leaning into a save again. Yeah. Like you're, you're just hoping that like, well, maybe, that maybe we catch someone out. But if they don't, it will likely be the save here from Carl. It's nice to see that Vitality, despite going B early and getting kind of, you know, messed up by JKS in back-to-back -back rounds, it hasn't deterred them from their game plan of just abusing this B bomb site. They've started to pick it up better and better. They're taking the bomb there even when Shox is killing them all on A. And yeah, this is working wonders for Vitality on the T side. Save call undutably here for the complexity side. Try to escape with two M4s and an op on poison. Five alive for Vitality. They got the B bomb site basically for free. And who doesn't love free? Free is free. Just like kill is kill. Vitality now assume the lead. 6-5. Now, if you're complexity, you don't want this hole to get any deeper than it is. 
This time, though, with no hunting from Vitality, there is a bit of a chance to, to buy here. Obviously, it would still be a bit weak, right? Config can drop a, a rifle, and then one of either JKS or Rush needs to play SMG or shotgun, or you can just eco on them and full buy in the follow-up. It's, it's whatever really Cole want to do and how they want to do it. They will decide to buy Famous out, and still decent util saved, considering that round was ended in an instant, so no grenades were yeah. used up on A. Complexity, they, they finally tried to get a bit more aggressive with it, both the A and B. They push down A ramp, they push up towards the B stairs, and the aggression punishes them. So at this point, this must feel very, very constricting what Vitality are looking to do here. Big pick for Poison. He's been very quiet in this game, but blinded in middle and hitting Masuta out of the round, who's been great. So that's a large opening kill for Complexity, and it might force Vitality just into what they were standing on, this A site. Moving in as the smoke fades, Config on that offhand, finding Apex, no trade, jumping up with a flash, and Shox is dead as well. Lovely stuff for Config, but he does have to move. This position could get naded, and in fact it will. He's out just in time. So back and forth, Complexity. From five to two in their favor, now looking to tie things up at 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> They've boosted config up to get away with even more. They're just tormenting you with config. I will an RPK. They're not even considering this. No one's even looking up to where this boost is, and Zaiwu oh, tries to run. pick up the Molotov. Config just about dodges it, but uh -oh. RPK, Config's low. There's another, oh, it's third man at short, and JKS comes in on the rotation just in time Woo. for Justin Savage, six to six, as Complexity tie this one up. It ends up being a lot more costly than it was looking like early on. Finally, we see a little bit from Poison, who's had a very, very quiet start to this game. Something that is going to bode well for Complexity, though, is that Config's on a blinder. Like, he, even, even before he's kind of risen up the scoreboard and had a lot of kills, it was like the speed that he was just taking people out of rounds. Like, some of the kills he was getting away with looked incredible. You can tell that he is feeling it right now. Into mid, Zaiwu very, very fast. A real change of pace here. Rush up on the boost, just gets wiped out. And JKS has got to concede middle. Now Poison's rotated in to try and plug oh this my. hole, but the B site's already gone. They've split through mid, pulling the attention away from B wow. and sending in Masuta and Shox to get the site under lock and key. Molotov gonna burn Masuta, but the bomb plant's still in. Config pulling this back into a three on four. Then he deletes Masuta. And now suddenly, from a five on three to a three v two, Config, another turning back into middle, reading Apex like a book. And oh. so it's Zaiwu and RPK, but they've they've got to go up against this onslaught of utility, constantly forcing the reposition. Zaiwu runs in and gets knocked down. It's left to RPK, and he can't do anything. Ace for Config. Oh, but oh, no! The, molly! the Molly's burned them out. There's, There's no time. time. Config aces the round. But the late Molotov, the late Molotov does it all. And he even dies to the bomb. Oh, an ode to Config, a hero fallen in that round. And somehow, someway, Vitality are on to seven. Oh, that is Heartbreak Hotel for Cole. That is the worst possible scenario. What an incredible round for Config, but just that one bit of utility. Complexity's util was the one getting them over the line, right? Just constantly getting in the face of Vitality, dunking them on the site, and then it's the molly right back oh, to Vitality. That's yeah. how he's feeling at the end of that round. He's trying to dodge the, the bomb radius, but uh, yeah, jumps off too early. He was dead either way, I think. Uh, was he? I don't know, man. Forget it, Harry. Yeah, the I round's saw him over. Like 90 HP. <laughs> Uh, well, I feel the same way. After a round like that, who can blame him? That's one of those rounds where you're thinking, like, what more can I do? Yeah. <laughs> what more can I do? Guys, just the fuse. <laughs> How hard is oh. it? Oh. Oh. Like, the defuse was almost done as well. It must have been the Molotov spread. Yeah, mollies don't stop spreading until the, the end of wow. like seven seconds. They just go for it. Dink down, though, in middle. Masuta hit. And that is, that's a massive round. That's a big swing round for Cole to lose as well, considering that was, you know, their money on the line. Vitality still with a really good bank on this T side, keeping five alive in many of these A executes, or B executes rather. But now, Cole, they've got to eco. They've got to give Vitality the win to the half and buy in late. Reading into the boost, Vitality have done that many a time. 
but no success today. Just sat outside of AR Vitality, Apex in middle, getting that info, spotting config and pushing him off with a Molotov. Plexity want to keep away from those. Plenty of mid players. Apex flashing himself back in. There's three here. Config is tucked. JKS coming as well. Config's going to move in on the reload. And he spams with the Deagle, getting that one done. Blade with the orb. Missed shot. They're jumping up A and now they're running. The jig is up. The info's in. Poison gets a two for one. Dinking Zywu in the process. Masuta's also low. This is going from bad to worse for Vitality. Another eco win for Cole, perhaps. Twice in one game, surely not. Zaiwu and Shogs, the only players left to change our minds. And look at where that bomb has flung itself. It's out in the open. Ooh. They're going to try and take short, and they do get past Blame F. That's the AWP removed. Oh, oh. Shocks! Oh, my goodness. He's in with three, and he's looking to take this round home for Vitality. But Config at the very end denies it all. That had to be the ace for Shocks. This game has had so many aces. <laughs> we are in the first half of Complexity Vitality, and that would have been our third. Denied by Config. This man is looking so warmed up, so ready to go. And you know, man, that, that there is like, you know, when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object in the side. Like, you didn't know who was going to win that between the two of them. My, oh my. Oh, another eco, though. That's the that's the big one for Cole. That's saving their money. That No longer are Vitality guaranteed a winning half. Now Cole can fight back for it. Shocks tagged by the AWP poison. Still looking on longingly. Zywu scope though. If anyone jumps, if anyone goes above the sandbags, they are dead. And so Cole get out of there early. Smoke's fading as well. Blame gonna move into that close position. Will it even be checked? Poison might die. Oh, there it is. Zywu, only a pixel. It's enough for him to grab it right back. Molly's down a Cole trying to fill the void left by the death of poison. And while the Molly does go, do good damage across a few players, it's still Vitality holding on to this advantage and holding on nice and passive, waiting for Cole to peek back in to give them another. Config trying to one way. Zywu ain't falling for it, but someone else certainly could. Oh. This is gross. The problem is they're already moving up the ramp now. Is Config about to get like a three for one shot or something wild? Instead, no, it's just shocks plucked from the back. Even Ooh. more where that came from, he gets the follow up tag to Masuta. But it's RPK dealing the KOs right about now. Blame F left inside of this A site calls for the rotating. Rush and JKS are here nice and quickly. JKS even donning the orb. What's he able to do with it? Nades for this bomb plant. And currently that bomb's on RPK, but he's not planting default. Oh, instead, Blame F through the smoke with a double. Oh my goodness, smoke and mirrors inside of this site and Zywu might be about to show us some magic. He's gonna have to, there's seven seconds left as this bomb is trying to go down. JKS not able to deny Ooh. it. There's Rush pushing close and it's left to Masuta. 1v2 and Rush holds the fort. Defuse in for Cole as they narrowly win out this first half, eight to seven. This game has already had so many aces, so many wild rounds, and this was just the first half. Join us for the second in just a moment.
two by two. two, by two. Doing this together, it's me by you. Yeah. All through the night, uh -huh. all through the night. This is me, this is you. When we get together, we can all pull through. I don't ever ever wanna stop this groove. Let's get it right. Settle up, then take it to the grave. Yeah. Listen to the wise man, tell me what to say. What it's Listen to your heartbeat like a still bleed. A little bit of hope, yes, yeah, what we still need. Say a little prayer for the Say moment. Pray for the Give what you got, just go away. Can't hold you back if you own it. Live your life like you chose, and no matter what, I won't let up. It's in my soul, it's in my blood, and I won't take no for an answer. I fit them hurt me it makes me stronger. Well, Vitality joining us in the semifinal from the lower bracket. Of course, it was quite the run for them. They did drop a 2-0 there to phase, but went on to beat Heroic Mad Lions. And just before the phase game, they took down Spirit. Now they try to vie for a spot within the grand finals itself, beating up on complexity a little bit. But this, this is a very close game. And all things considered, Vertigo is a very treacherous map. 8-7, complexity leading at the half. Thank you for joining us here at the Intel Extreme Masters Beijing 2020 online. This is the playoffs, and we are ready to rumble. Oh, slow T sides for Vitality, but Cole aren't waiting around. They're running right up on A, fast out of spawn and making noise while they do. It's Poison taking short, heavy four-man setup here for the Frenchman, and they're going to flash right in. Oh, he's blind, but he still gets the kill. You take that if you're Vitality. Cole, they've got to move in. A man down. Smokes are down, though, and that gives them some room. But Zai Wu is picking them apart through them. Can't stop him with a flashbang, can't stop him with a smoke, but Apex jumps up and he will be knocked back down. Cole with a part, Zywoo with another! He's just absolutely tearing through. He can't even see his opponent, opponents. He doesn't need his eyes as he picks up a third, and now the retake is on. Yeah, two on three. Number advantage for Vitality. Blame F trying to make that not the case, and he does. One on two, RPK and Mizuta. Well, they've got to get a defuse here. Blame F on one HP. He's going to try to fight from the scaffolding side. They're checking out the ramp. They think it's very possible that he might be here. But they're going to have to go back for this bomb. Plant for him. Oh! On it. He takes down RPK. No defuse. It's a complexity round through and through. Nine on the board. Oh, my. Blame wins that. They saw him last at ramp. He got a pick as the smoke bloomed on the crane. So Vitality, they just try and two for one. They just try and chase him down. And he swaps side. Even killing another through the smoke. So many smoke kills in that pistol. Who knows what was seen and what was not. That's a great round for Cole and Blame. Leading by example. We've had respective one-man armies in the first half for both sides. It's config up to 19. Shocks is looking damn good as well for Vitality. But numbers don't give the full picture, although these ones do. Cole up 9-7. A pistol round win after taking the first half in their favor. We've got a force buy for Vitality. Trying to fight back with the Deagles. And yeah, that's how they start to get things moving. Zaiwu just a hair off from where he needs to be to land a shot through the wall with his deagle and config. Apex is going to take a peek here, or at least look out as far as he can. But look at all the players here Ooh. for Vitality in this Ooh. site. They're ready. Zaiwu actually landing one through the wall. Yeah, is he going to go for more though? Config's waiting on this position. He should have a catch. Turning around, the Deagle spam, it's so good. Blame does trade, but Vitality have all five players here crunching the ramp in the mid-round. Oh, it's a slaughter. It's just JKS with the AK-10 health, and they're flashing him off, still keeping up this pressure, not giving him any room to escape the corner, and Apex even spams him out. It's Vitality with the force by round. We had this in the first half. It was the exact same. In fact, it was Vitality winning the force with their T-side. And they went on to make a bit of a name for themselves there. But Cole are going to buy right back in and give them a run for their money. And there's just something about winning a pistol. Whoa. The old round three or Classic, especially on 29 HP, the Zywoo way. 
Big damage being dealt onto Complexity at this point. Five alive for Vitality mid. It's gonna be where the contest is. Fig just slides on out. He's got an idea to get up here on top of construction. A little bit of a deadlock for both sides even. He's hoping for a re-peak, but no one's giving it to him right now. Mazuta's going to go over, but Config could elude him right below. The flash falls short, and Mazuta swings anyway. Does catch Config. Vitality, five on three. Numbers on the A side again, moving over very swiftly. Those rotations aren't difficult on the CT side of this map, at least to get everywhere real quick. Can look like there's three players in every position at times. Now Cole are going to have to battle back with a massive disadvantage. Two low players, though. Both of them here. There's a chance. Saru takes a shot. And my goodness. RPK takes one as well. Takes out Rush. JKS with the response doesn't even matter. It shocks an Apex to clean the round up. Vitality. Keep us at even numbers. Nine to nine. Slow game for Poison thus far. Certainly didn't help with how the money was going in that first half, right? Like constantly getting reset, eco wins on both sides. But uh, yeah, Poison definitely, when he had the orb, didn't really do a whole lot. He found a couple of opening kills, otherwise silent. And with Zaiwu on the other side, this is not a game you can afford to be quiet as an AWP player for Cole. Deep smoke, they're running right through it. They don't care. Zaiwu sees everything though, and now he's got to return fire. One pick with the AWP, and the nade will do as well. Zaiwu's in for another. Maybe an ace for him today, but Shock stealing it right away with two of his own. And Vitality, a clean anti eco. Cole, that's fine. No worries. They can rebuy back in right now and fight for first. And it's a very, you know, as you guys were just saying, it's a very unfortunate time for Poison to be to be this quiet, right? Because to give Zaiwu that much uh, of like a, a pressure-free environment in terms of getting challenged by the AWP on the other side, that's a little bit worrying here. Yeah, and rip free at that. I mean, that's a lot of room. We know how Zaiwu can be when he gets turned up. Terrifying. Cole dropped this bee smoke themselves to put out a Molotov if Vitality threw one. They didn't. Now they can move through after. Rush on a mid lurk on his lonesome. Everyone coming to B. Is Shock's going to peek with that flash? He sees nothing. Throwing his own utility down. Molly going out and Cole have to respect it. Have to give it a second. No one gets burned by it though. So Vitality still don't actually have the info that there's four players here. But Cole loud. Run away. No longer enticed by what the B-Site has to offer. And another Molotov even coming down as well. JKS left here to lurk. Everyone else from Cole setting up on the A-Site. If JKS gets a pick while they're taking ramp, they can double back. But no one's giving anything away to Complexity. And Vitality even reading into this one and moving four players on that A-Site. Mid is open, but Rush is no longer lurking there. And even though Cole will actually end B after all, there's only one man in position. This is a good call. They've rotated Vitality out, but they're about to realize that way as well. Yeah, Vitality were very, very loud on the rotate, and now on the back and not seeing anything, uh -oh. they check ramp, they realize, all right, RPK, you're in a bit of a bad way right now, but we have Run. got reinforcements on the way. We are coming in. You just need to stay alive, RPK. Uh -oh. and already, the cavalry have arrived for either side. It's about to be a brawl for the B-bomb site. Flashes through, and Apex tries to take the fight to them. That ends up with him getting removed by Config. RPK still fighting, and here's Masuta with a double. To keep Vitality in this one. That bomb gonna go down with seconds. To spare. And Config oh right at the end in with four. Complexity, they put 10 on the board. In spite of Vitality having the read, having yeah. the bodies in the site. I like the idea from Apex to get aggressive there, but all that does in, in, in the end of things is end up with him going untraded and causing and allowing Complexity to pick up the pace on that push in the first place. Yeah, the big danger was they had 20 seconds on the clock coming up these stairs and no pick. It was still a five on five. Obviously, the util was run out dry by Vitality. That's fine. But if they run crossfires, if they play safe, Cole might run out of, uh, of time on the clock. Instead, they get given away in. And Config, well, he manhandles them right out of the round. Apex has had enough, though. He's pushed on A and taken Blame F first. Getting away for free. Config may have crept through the smoke. 
And even though they don't know, Zywu's so here with the orb, and he's very fast. We already know that. Five on three, immediately biting back our vitality. Poison's got his T-side orb, but it's very hard to get picks, especially when Vitality have a considerable advantage and don't have any reason to fight on A anymore. That's really the only place the orb is going to be super viable on the T-side. And we have two of them for Vitality as well. And looking interested in B, Shox is fighting for it. And even if they kill him, even if they don't, RPK is tucked at the stairs waiting to trade. Oh, that peak is surely coming in. And it's surely going away as soon as it came. Poison falls. This creates a massive problem. Wow. Flexity had their eyes set on this B site, and they have been denied. RPK with two to end the round out. Vitality go up to 11. Double ops remain alive for the Vitality side. It's just round trading right now. But more so to the favor of the French. And now Cole's money once again is broken. Gonna have to hard eco this one. Not an eco where they should be getting an upside round or stealing much away. Couple of deagles, hoping for the best. Looking to get out through middle. And right now there's only Masuta here. He's gonna go ahead and call like, all right, I've just seen a few guys few dudes chilling down here in mid and there ain't nothing wrong with that but we do need to rotate players around to help get this under control and so rpk he's gonna set himself up in ct him and masuta doubling up to hold middle and complexity they're actually trying to run this uh the same idea that Vitality did in the first half, where you use these mid players to pull attention away from the B site and then get up through ramp. Masuta with a very oh, ugly no. spray. And all of a sudden, it's left to Shox alone inside of B. They're up the ramp as well. Shox still putting up numbers. Can he get any more? Goes for the no scope, needs oh. it to land, and there it is. There's one more man left in the site. JKS trying to respond, and he will get rid. Oh, oh Shox at Apex, my goodness. JKS. Savior of complexity, ugly towards CT as well. From RPK and Masuta, they let that mid that mid split come through. Shocks, like fair play, couldn't do more in this situation. You know, deals with everyone on that B play apart from JKS. And that's getting split from CT uh, connector and up through the ramp itself. Like he's got so many angles to worry about there. Oh, these eco rounds are cursed. Cole have won three. They won two USP rounds in the first half. Oh dear, what is happening? A great flash for shocks. RPK is going to get an opener, but nothing is sacred. Nothing is guaranteed in a game like this. Yeah, nobody is safe. That is one thing that we've come to learn. Zywu oh. do it. Oh yeah, you don't win that against Zywu. Not today at least. Oh dear, Vitality just chewing through Cole. Five on one, good by complexity. They may win an eco, and they're gonna be right back to their familiar ways on pistols after this one. Rush, looking for a one on five. We've seen some aces, but this would be catastrophic for Vitality to fall here. Especially with the double up in the site like this, it Ooh. shouldn't happen, it should never happen. Rush now thinks he, he dealt knows. with it, but no, he is aware. All right, Shox is gone, but there's Apex to help get everything back under control. Yeah. So yeah, you know, the, the way that they're set up there in B, you're gonna really struggle. Like Rush would have had to have just had like the shots of his life to even get back into that in a way that it feels doable. It's so odd, like this game is just so back and forth, so competitive. Rounds getting traded left and right, and it's left us with this very, very close affair on our plate. Vitality just about in the lead. Shock's given us a phenomenal game as well. He's almost dropped 30, and this isn't even close to done yet. No. And we've still got quiet players right over on Cole. Rush, eight, poison, five. Things that need to change for Cole, right? Conflict's been doing all he truly can. JKS has had some phenomenal rounds as well. But do I curse it again? Do I just say, yeah, they're yeah. not going to win this eco? Go Surely. Why would they win this eco? Let's just test your theory. Uh, Let's just see if it works. Say it. I mean, know. they've won three ecos before. No, that's that's too far. That's too much. This is impossible. This should be 13 for Vitality. But here come Cole in middle with another idea. Impossible, strong word. Improbable, more likely. 
But again, pistols, CSGO, and shocks. He doesn't need a pistol. He's got an off Masuda there to help. Big problems as Apex comes in to stop the bomb from going up construction. JKS left all by his lonesome and maybe impossible was the correct terminology. He's just stuck out here in no man's land with this deagle. Any damage he gets here is going to have like cascading consequence moving forward for Vitality if Cole could win a gun round. So getting a kill, getting two here could be massive. Oh, RPK with him on lock and Vitality only lose one in the round. That's good for their money. Up to 13, closer and closer. Cole need a response and it will have to be here. Poison is on that AWP. If there were ever a time for an opening pick to be needed by Cole up on that A ramp, this could be it. Nice little mid setup there for Vitality, baiting into the AWP and then a player on the sandbags as well. Double up again for Vitality. Shox has been anchoring B with his. Zaiwu's just been all over the place, wherever he needs to be. And back to A they go. Cole loud as they run up the ramp. Oh, it's blame to open this round up. Zaiwu does get the spot there on the players moving in through short. But isn't able to find anything from it. The nade, nice bit of damage onto Blame F, although it's nothing ooh, to write yeah. home about. It's ramp control taken by complexity. Still with Rush lurking behind in mid. It's gonna be a fun little standoff between him and Masuta. Shooting the gun off. That's that's actually really smart considering Apex had a rifle and Convict's on Glil. So yeah, like that. This round, though, decides quite a lot for Cole, right? Like, it basically shapes whether or not they're allowed to explode back into this game or not at any point in time. You know, the rounds have been getting traded, and so that loss bonus isn't banking up yet for complexity. Timing oh, here for boy. Blame F might get the better of him, and RPK with the swing. Now they realize, wait, they're, they're behind us. And as is here as well. Rush going to deal with him. A 2v2 left open, but Zai Wu still alive in the site. It's double AWP for Vitality, double AWP between Shocks and Zai Wu, and Zai Wu's wrapped short side. One of those orbs is gone now. Zai Wu onto the M4 with the swing. The lineup is in, oh. and Vitality put up 14. And as mentioned, that round was so important for complexity. They needed results. They needed it to go their way, because now the money is, is gone right at the last hurdle, right at the last push for this team. Yeah, we're seeing so many similarities with this short setup on A as well. Not many rounds have ended A for a normal Vertigo game, but this is not a normal game. Even Cole with triple stacking short at times. Vitality essentially do the same. They have a two player push there and Zywu repositions in short. Complexity lose him as they take the site and he's able to win the round for him. Shock's naded, but he responds to one of his own. The Molly burns through Rush and the mid play comes to a bitter close. Blame could lose the bomb here as well. It goes tumbling in. And a nice clean round by Vitality. They are building. They are making money. They are streaking rounds together. Could this be the bitter end for Cole? Yeah, it's not looking too damn good now, is it? Mirage up next. And for complexity, they'd have to bounce back on that one. Otherwise, that's the end of their run here at the Intel Extreme Masters. Vitality, keep doing everything right. Ooh, shocks flashed out. And, you know, I think we were expecting this to go three, right? Yes. And it did feel like both teams were destined to win their map picks, but this has still been a competitive map all the way to the very, very end. And it's only in these last few rounds that Vitality have broken out into a bit of a sprint. Now, Cole, they don't want to be left in the dust of Vitality. They're still looking for something. And so they do gun down RPK over towards the top of B. Flashes and all the attention pulled into this B site. That's given Rush and Blame F a lot of room. Ooh. Blame and Zai Wu caught in this fight and it's Blame F to win it. Now they try and go back to A. They realize that this was the, uh, the destination all along for complexity. Blame F, he's directing Poison in to get this bomb planted. Blame's the only man with any HP here. He's got to go huge. That Molotov burning both players in the site forces the reposition out from Blame. 
And it's down to a 2v2. One HP on poison, 20 for Config. And Config knows that in rounds like this, a big play is required. He's wrapping in through mid because he's lost his teammate at ramp. So now it all falls to Config. He gets the 1v1. Shock's on the other side. It's the two top performers. It's the clash of the Titans in the server. Complexity trying to stay alive. Config going through, but it shocks with the kill. Can he find the bomb? Oh, he's got it. And I think he's got it just just in time oh. as well. Vitality, they pick up their map pick. They go 